Hi, this is a quick video how to program the Somer Telecody keypad to the Evo opener. First thing you do is when you open up the box, you will notice that there's a reset code covering the letters. This reset code is very important because it is independent to each keypad. So what we, rec what we recommend is that you get the reset code and stick it in the back of the carriage cover. This manner, if any day you need to reset it, you know where the reset code is at. Our, op our keypads come off. If you see, if you press any button, nothing turns on. The reason we do that is because we have a battery life expectancy between six to eight years. And that's how, during shipping, um, the battery can be discharged, and that's how we kind of extend the life of life of the battery. First thing you do, you have to press the letter M until you see the LED light up, then you see the red LED and you get the backlight. This is when you know that the keypad is on. So now we're going to program a code to the keypad. And for example, I'm going to use the number 1234 as my code. So to program the code, the first thing you do on the keypad is you press the letter P and then you get it into programming mode, you're going to press the first digit only of the code that you want, press the letter P again, you're going to get that green LED to blink like that, then you're going to press the full code including the first number, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, and P again. You get both LEDs, that's how you know that the keypad accepted the code that you want. So now all you have to do is program the keypad, to the opener. For that, you're going to go to the carriage. You're going to press the red radio button to channel 1. You're going to press the code only 1, 2, 3, 4, and you'll see the LED turn off. That means that the keypad has been properly programmed into the opener. I'm going to press the code right now 1, 2, 3, 4, and you'll see the opener activate. If you want to stop it, press the code again and that stops the that stops the carriage. If you want to add a second door to the same keypad, you follow the same process, which is you're gonna start with the letter P, but this time the code has to start with a different number other than the number that you use first. Like right now I use the number one. So for a second door I would press P again, the number 2, P again, and do 2, 3, 4, 5, and P. So for the first door, I got code 1, 2, 3, 4. For the second door, I would have code 2, 3, 4, 5. That's how you know that the keypad is sending it. Thank you.